Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo Cat Dad Piper coming at you today with a tobacco product review. So this here is the uh, little old boy style lighter I got off Amazon a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a Chinese copy, it's, but it's twenty bucks versus probably about one hundred and fifty dollars if you're looking at the IM Corona. So. A little bit about this. Like I said, it's around 20 bucks. I'll have a link for it in the description if you're interested. Came in a black gift box. It also came in this nice little pouch. At the bottom, you have where you can adjust uh, the strength of the flame. Right here, this pulls out as a little tamper and pipe tool. And then how these work is it you fill with butane down there. You flip that, that opens up the butane, which comes out there. And then there's a really kind of a small flint right along here. You can see that. So to light it, you just flick it clockwise. And then you have a nice soft flame. Now, one thing I will say about this, the build feels good, except for there's a little bit of shake. And that's because this rod right here that stores the flint, after just a couple of uses, it started wobbling. So it wobbles back and forth. Now, right now, I don't have any fear that it'll break, but it does kind of make it feel a little cheap. Um, and actually, it probably, I think it lights a little bit easier. Now that it's got that wobble, because it has a little give. Uh, when I light it here, this flame is on the higher end of the flame setting, uh, almost to max. So, like I said, it feels a little cheap, primarily because of the wobble. But the butane holds well in it. It's easy to fill. Uh, the first couple times you, flint, you flick the flint a wheel. Uh, it is a little stiff, so I'll give you that. Now, I'm sure the IM Coronas or the Petersons that make this old boy style, I'm sure they're nicer, they feel nicer, probably work a little better, but you're also spending well over $100, if not closer to $150 or $200 for something like that. This is only $20. It gets the job done, and that extra money, 100 bucks, you can buy yourself a new pipe. Now, uh, show you kind of how it works here. I got my bowl packed, my 673 Dolomiti. I got some squadron leader in there. Show you how it works. Give a nice little char light. Give it a little true light here. Oh, the other thing of note, if you have the... Uh, Flame going for a little while. This top lid part right there, that can get a little hot to the touch. But nothing unmanageable. Like I said, I'll have the link for it in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, my final thoughts though, it's a nice little lighter. It looks well. It works well. Uh, I will say if you're used to a Zippo, the size of the flint wheel takes a little bit of getting you a little bit of getting used to, um, but it holds paint butane well. Now I would say if you're outside or in the wind or anything like that, a Zippo with a pipe lighter insert is still going to be your best bet. 
Um, I this will not do well in the wind or any type of generous breeze. It basically works on par with using a wood match, uh, except for you can have this going as long as you want to get your pipe lit. Like I said, it just looks really nice. I think it's a stylish lighter. So, if it's something you're interested in and don't want to put a lot of money in a lighter like I do, or don't, I guess, uh, it might be worth, worth checking out. Like I said, the only downside I really feel to this is just the way that this started to wobble. Again, I don't think in the long run it's going to affect the performance or it's going to fall apart, but it does remind you that it is a cheaper end lighter, so... Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. And hit notifications to see whenever I post videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching. God bless. And we'll see you soon.